Okay. And management information services. Yes, that was on page seven, I think Fred said. That's correct. Say seven, yes. Um, let's see, this does have a increase here. Uh, a couple of different lines that were increased. We increased the part-time wages. Um, think about, let's see. I put it more in line with what we were actually using on that line. It's been under budgeted. Mm -hmm. And we also had to include, if you look on your details sheet, once again, there's, we included $2,670 there for the additional three elections that we will have in 2016. Uh, yes. um, I had them work up how many hours they usually spend on an election. Yeah. Or we did kind of did an average over the last couple of years and then took that into consideration so that we could have a basis as to why that line was increasing. Um, the other lines, repairs and maintenance, supplies and expenses, new equipment and replacement equipment. Mm -hmm. Those lines, once again, we've been trying to get them more into the where things are being spent from. So the total increase on those three lines is $36,000, but $24,000 of that you will see in supplies and expenses, and it's for the three, 365 Live. Um, that's needed to integrate our email system and to so that we can uh, use the cloud, have use of the cloud um, for storage space. So it'll eventually reduce some of the cost in MIS. Um, by having storage space up in the cloud and it'll help with some of the email problems that some people are faced with. I think people struggle with the town email as opposed to working with like Yahoo and Google and some of those uh, mm. free mail server things. So that's what that's the big item in there. That's the big increase there. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Bridal. No, I'm all set. Thank you. This is all set. Mr. Bean. And Mr. Waddell. And the 365 live, is that live now? Is that No, been? it's something that the IT would like to implement. Would like to implement. Yes. Um, I put a little description in there. I have some notes here. Um, has to do with the town email and the mail server. We've outgrown our 10-year inter-office communication system. The $24,000 would be used to integrate email, outsource our mail server. And which would lower our equipment and storage cost cost by leveraging the cloud. So it's kind of like the iCloud, but it's for Microsoft and Windows <coughs> and stuff. Uh, so it's needed to be interconnected. Uh, okay. It'll also help for when the times when our email server is down. It doesn't happen a lot, but Fred can tell you that it does happen on occasion, and this will allow us so that our, our PCs can um, still function when they are not connected to the network for some reason. Um, so that's right, what that, that 24000 is for. And I'm sure going along with that, security is being yes. well looked at. Yes, Paul is very good about as that. As secure as things can be. Right. Yeah. 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 You know. That's a good yeah. way to put it. Yeah. yeah, he does a very good job at that. Yeah, Paul yeah. and Dylan both do a great job down there. So that's just their recommendations. I have my little yellow cheat sheet here, so I know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> <laughs> I won't pretend like I know a lot about it because I don't. It sounded so. good. Oh, thanks. <laughs>